this why. is the third electronic Rubik's item in the history of the Rubik's brand. It happens to be on its 30th anniversary of, as a brand. And this is basically a take on the slide puzzle that's been around forever. But what happens is, first you pick your uh, uh, skill level, beginner, medium, or difficult. And I'm going to go ahead and do difficult just so it makes something a little bit more interesting to watch on camera. And essentially what happens is you have a scrambled puzzle. There's two buttons on top. You press the check button. Hold it down, and this shows you what the solution to the puzzle is. This is the pattern you're trying to match. Blue, blue, red, space, red. This is where you start, and now you can twist, slide, up, down, left, right, and manipulate the lights. They all move together, and they move in a logical pattern until you've matched your original pattern and solve the puzzle. There's over 10,000 puzzles and you can play at three different difficulty levels. So if you're a casual gamer like easy Sudoku puzzles and Bejeweled and Tetris, no problem. You play the easy level, you're gonna have puzzles that for the most part you can solve in less than a minute, even 30 seconds. If you really love logic puzzles and you like hardcore gaming, you play the expert level and you're gonna have game, uh, puzzles that are gonna really challenge your mind and uh, keep you busy for about 10 minutes at a time. Over 10,000 so puzzles. So to just break this down for people who because when you throw it at it, if this red light is in the corner, yes. right? Yes. If I push it up once, it's going to go all the way through with the world exactly. and come back right here. So exactly let's do it. Right. I'm going to go up. And you see that? You notice this one's right here. Same thing. It's going to be here if I go up. So you get the basic idea. Up, up, up. We'll keep moving these patterns up. Now if I twist, where is this one going to be if this I twist? This one is going to... So at the beginner levels, it'll move a full 90 degrees. At the expert level, actually part of what makes it a little bit more difficult puzzle is that it will only move one space. Ah. So in the earlier levels, it'll move a whole 90 degrees. In the later levels, it moves one space at a time around the periphery. So it's like turning one click at a time. Interesting. So I can start moving it around. You can see that blue one moving. It's going to go right there and so on. So in reverse. And the one thing I have to say about, I've been playing with this for maybe like 10 minutes, is that all these combinations, it's got sort of the finger candy thing yes. to it. Like I just keep fidgeting with it and goofing around with it and making it happen. Now, putting on my educator hat, there's a lot of logical spatial thinking going on here. Okay, absolutely. You're talking about abstract puzzles and, and how uh, the geometry moves in space and in, in, in a plane that's not mentally visible. get this to reproduce this shape. I got to do a lot of manipulation in my head. Exactly. So this is very good in terms of uh, there's some authentic logic. Like the like the original Rubik's. Exactly. Wow, I can't stop playing with this, Eric. It just wants to. The, the, it's hard to tell, obviously, from the camera, but that's a spring-loaded interface. It really just feels great to manipulate. Yeah, it's really it's really got this feel to it. And the control buttons are right, right here. There, exactly. Yeah. And it saves your high score. The whole goal here is how many puzzles can you complete. So if you've completed 70, 80 puzzles, whatever your maximum is, we'll hold that in memory, and that'll be the the number everybody's trying to top. And you could easily slip this into your pocket Absolutely. and uh, take it on your commute or whatever. Absolutely. <laughs> There's volume control on it so you can turn it all the way down to mute or all the way up as loud as it goes. Well, thank you very much, sir. It's very, good. You. very good to see Eric. <laughs> hey, let me get that shot. It's Valentine's Day. That's good.